What's going on everybody? It's Carlos here from Premier Reviewer. In today's video, we're actually going to be doing my office tour slash room tour, setup tour, whatever you want to call it. So I took a poll and you guys were awesome. You guys really gave me some good feedback. I asked if you guys wanted to see a kind of a vlog style or a lot of sexy B-roll and it was almost 50-50. Um, but with that being said, I think the best thing to do is a combination of the two. So here we go. gonna start off with my entertainment area in the office um, by the way if you guys want to know how I'm recording this I have my log system my road link so that is how I am recording this so here we go there's something um, interesting and actually I'm gonna be doing a video about this TV it's um, the Vizio M M255 I don't know I'll leave a link down below but what's really cool about this TV is that <sighs> You can get yourself a very affordable TV for not too much. I'll be making a video about that, so stay tuned for that. But this is a 4K TV, um, and I really love, 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 love the picture quality that comes out of this. It's amazing. Um, next to that, under that, I should say, is my soundbar from LG. It's another um, part of the video that will be there. So stay tuned for that again. It'll probably be my next video, I'm not sure. Leave a link, leave a like down below if you wanna see a video on that next. Um, I put some LEDs back here um, and they are awesome. Again, everything will be linked in the description. One of the main reasons why I picked up the 4K TV was because of this bad boy. This is the uh, Nvidia Shield. TV box. Um, it is a super powerhouse, and I usually have um, Cody running from it, so it's really nice. If you guys know anything about Cody, you know what it's all about. I don't want to get too much into that, but I'll probably be doing a, a, a review of this as well. I know it's a little old already, but it doesn't matter. It's still, there's some things in here that um, I definitely think that a lot of people will be interested in finding out about. There is the controller. Here are all my <laughs> controllers laid out here. I try to keep this pretty clean for the most part. Um, another thing with the 4K TV is with the new um, PS4 4K coming out, the PS4 Pro, I'm definitely looking forward to using it on that. So these are some just generic candles that light up and I can change the colors. Um, pretty cool, I like them. Uh, that leads me to this side now. Well, actually, in this drawer, you'll see it's a mess, but I keep a lot of my wires and boxes in this drawer. Um, same thing with this one right here. As you see, there's crap everywhere, but whatever, we'll pick that up. Um, yeah, I have a lot of my PS4 games in there. I love playing the PS4. It's fantastic. This is just another... Uh, has a bunch of boxes inside that one. Um, there's a guitar I never play. This is a wall art my son made for me uh, the last two years or so. Uh, generic uh, softbox works really well. Again, link to everything will be down below. Here you go. This is where I have my printer. I store a couple of boxes. This is a turntable that's um, really good for product shots. Um, I might be doing a giveaway with this microphone, so if you want to see a giveaway, make sure you leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below, um, and possibly we'll be doing something like that. Here is some more LEDs. I tell you, I love me some LEDs. This is uh, another USB set, so you just you don't need one of those bricks. You just connect it to the back of a TV or monitor, and uh, it works really well. Some more of my b-roll product stuff that I use with the LEDs here are kind of my gaming headsets not necessarily I, I have a few different ones I use those are the wired gold headsets 
little brother to the wireless. I have a video on that. There is my PS4 on its docking station with my two controllers. This is a nice fan that I picked up that matches the setup really well. This is my mid-2014 MacBook Pro with my NVIDIA Shield tablet. Love it. This thing is awesome. Installed Cody on that as well. Um, right, <laughs> right now, I'm, I've been playing a lot of Madden, and I still have some COD. So those, that's why that's there. Here is my vlogging camera. It's the GoPro Hero 4 Black. I'm really interested in getting that new GoPro. Or actually the Karma, that, that thing is awesome. So I'm looking forward to getting that, my hands on that. And uh, here is my mic, it's the Audio-Technica BP40. It's a, it's a fantastic mic. Um, I haven't done a video on that. If you guys wanna see that, let me uh, know down below. I'll let you, I'll probably, probably do a video on that. Um, shout out to my boy Matt for giving me the idea to get this. This is an extender, just so I can put that there and it looks a little bit more professional. Probably gonna end up getting a shock mount for it, but for right now, don't need it because the shock mount is about a hundred bucks. It's pretty crazy. Um, these are the CBR or the CR. Oh God, I can I never remember. Anyways, the link to that will be down below. Um, these are my reference monitors. Here is one of my lenses, the 24 to 105 Canon L lens. Beautiful photography lens, and with my um, a7R Mark II, it does amazing in video as well. It's an F4, but this thing, you guys see the quality. All right, so this is this desk, um, everything except for over here is from Ikea. So you have this table is from Ikea, cost me like 35 bucks. This bookshelf, which I have a bunch of garbage in, not garbage, but I keep a lot of minutes, uh, just stuff that I need to get to for videos or whatever, I have microphones, everything, same thing over here. I have water because I live in South Florida and we have hurricanes from time to time. You never know when you need a lot of water and so that's where I store it. All right, so back to this. Um, this is the Rode PSA boom arm, beautiful. Actually, I did a video of my whole audio setup, which I'll leave linked down below. You guys should check it out, it's pretty good. Um, so this is the Gallant desk right here. They don't make this anymore, but um, it. I think you can. The only place you can actually get it is in the store. They don't sell it online no more. Um, so the I have two bookshelves um, just to extend it, make it a little bit more custom, uh, and it's black just to match that. I mean, that's what I try to do. Try to coordinate. So this is my keyboard. It's a Havoc keyboard. Forgot the model ne uh, number or name, but it's a Havoc. Um, it's RGB, semi-RGB. But So right now, if y'all notice, the theme is green and purple for like the whole Batman Joker theme. I just, I, could, I go through like phases. Sometimes I do red and black, red and blue. So I do just blue. So I don't know. That's one of the things that with having the LEDs, you get a lot of um, flexibility. I even have lighting underneath. My cable management is pretty good. It's not great. And I'll prove it to you right here. There's the Nestle cables there. I got to tidy up. Sorry, Matt Filet. Um, But yeah, so let's move over before I get to the monitors. This is my new interface. It's awesome. It's the um, Yamaha MG10 XU. Um, and I have this. I actually just got this. As you see, it's kind of uh, elevated. It's actually for a MacBook Pro or a MacBook or, or some sort. I don't remember the name. I literally got it a few days ago, but it's a little riser so I can have it kind of elevated. It's really cool. Probably going to get another one just so I can put my laptop on there. There's the other speaker. I have a video where I customize these. These are um, audio engine for speaker, audio engine risers or something like that. But they come black and I painted them to be gray just to kind of go with the whole setup. Um, Here's my custom build PC. Uh, I'll just go through the specs right now. It has, this is a um, X99 Asus Deluxe motherboard. It has a Intel i5820K. Uh, um, graphics card is the Zotax 980Ti. 
I actually reached out to them. Hopefully they get back to me. I'm trying to get a nine, a, a 1080 or 1070. Hopefully do a comparison video. Here's the Philips Hue or NZ XT Hue. That's a little station. That's why I am able to control my LEDs in here. Um, it's a beast of a PC. It's got 32 gigs of RAM in there. It's really nice. Really, really love it. It's one of the best things I did for my channel was building a PC. And I suggest anyone who's thinking about it, unless you're in the whole Apple uh, atmosphere, then I would say try to build it because it's really a sick, sick experience to do. It's really, I don't know. I just really have been, I keep saying really, but it's just been one of those things that um, I challenged myself to do it and I was able to do it and I haven't, <laughs> I never regret it from that day. It's just, I love this case. This is, by the way, this is the Air 540. I know they just came out with the Air 740. Um, interested in that actually, maybe I'll do a build on that somehow. But here are my headphones, headphone of choice. These are the status, uh, open back. They're awesome, I love them. Um, I use that and another set of headphones. I did a video again and my whole audio setup. I did a whole video on that. Um, here is another controller that controls, you know, this lighting right here. Put it back to green. Um, here's a charger for my Sony camera, the one I'm using right now. My Automos. This goes to my um, Automos Shogun. And I have more mess here with cables. I got to tighten that up too. I was actually, I actually undid everything because I was having issues with my PSU. So I had to fix that. It was pretty cool. I got it fixed. Um, oh, let's go over here. Here is, I'll get to the monitors. I know everybody's waiting for that. I'll get to the monitors. This is cool. I found this at Ross actually. Really neat poster, little TIE fighter. I believe that's what that, no, that's, I mean, that's the X-Wing, I said TIE Fighter. Don't crucify me in the comments down below for saying TIE Fighter. X-Wing, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, there we go. And then BB-8, it's cool. Put that shelf there. There's my other wireless headphones, those are gold wireless. I have some pop uh, vinyl figures over there. Um, it's a map that uh, anybody who follows me on my second channel, more of my personal channel knows what that's all about. Um, and okay, so let's get to the, I guess the star of the show. So I have my 34 UM95 ultra wide. It's a 1440p monitor from LG. Really love this monitor. I, if LG, if any guys from LG are listening, hey, if y'all wanna send me one of those new uh, I think it was a 38, 38 inch 4K ultra wide. Ooh, wee. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Anyway, so that is sitting on. I actually just had this upgrade. I just upgraded to a second monitor here. Um, what I did was prior to that, I had just just this monitor. It was on a low crate or low crate or lock crate arm, which was really good. Um, but I wanted a second monitor and went on, got like a $35 dual monitor arm. And this is just a monitor, extra monitor I had laying around. This is just a 1080, a regular LED 1080p. This is the HP. Let's see. Get some focus. There you go. It's the HP 24 inch UH. Uh, it's all right. It's not bad. Can't complain about it. And I'm running out of battery. This is no good. Let's see how long I can do this. But again, it's pretty nice setup. Tried to do all the wire management pretty, pretty good. As you see right here, this is my Logitech C920. And it's the PS4 cam. Um, really nice. I also have this stool. Sometimes when I'm doing uh, videos, I like to sit on that. Uh, especially if I'm doing like head talking videos. It really does provide a little bit, makes me arch my back, sit up straight, just things like that. It's really nice. Um, man, I gotta watch this. This is my mouse of choice for right now. Since I'm getting into PC gaming, I'm definitely gonna upgrade 
to a wireless gaming mouse leave a comment down below tell me what you think because i'm actually struggling which i know logitech has one and a few other companies have one they're kind of expensive but you guys let me know all right so this is the mx master um it's really nice it's really good for editing but i've noticed trying to play you can but i just think that having a gaming um, monitor or mouse would be a lot better um so that leads to some some stuff this is my little usb hub right here um this is uh, another usb hub but this is this is a usb hub this is a card reader hub 3.0 so fast speeds uh this is actually not meant for this sometimes i put my gopro here when i'm doing some videos i get a second angle um it's really cool i got this from griffin hammond he did he made a video about it and pretty much sold me on it right away um there's my couch been getting more and more used to that here is the setup which you just kind of saw me in well you didn't see me but this is what i this is my shogun right here with how i get my framing right this is a ben a ben row legs i don't remember the model number i think this is the s4 head though yeah this is the s4 head it's really nice again there's my other i like to bounce the light off so i don't have some crazy crazy audio i don't know how much i have left here i use this as a kind of exercise room as well turn that around watch tv while i do some exercising um there's my office chair i'm really trying to upgrade my office chair to kind of a gaming office uh, office chair so if you guys know of any good ones leave them or let me know in the comments down below kind of this thing squeaks it's just not comfortable i've had it for a few years now it's it's on its last leg but that's about it so there is my room uh put a lot of time and effort into it it's been a labor of love as they say but i'm really happy with uh with the way it came out so far again you guys know anything about setups there's always room for improvement guys if you don't have a setup that's even close to this that's fine listen i'm going to show some videos of how from where i started you just buy one thing at a time and um, eventually you're going to get to a point where you're going to be satisfied i'm pretty satisfied with the setup it's not complete there's always room for improvement. There's always new things coming out, new gadgets and stuff, new toys. So um, yeah, that's about it for that. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you guys like this. I uh, really appreciate the, all the support. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Talk to me in the comments down below. Also, please, please follow me on Twitter because I want you guys to tag me with your set of videos. I love set of videos. I love watching set of videos. Tag me in them. I would love to check it out. I'll retweet it. It's just something I like to do, give back to you guys. And I get to see a little bit of how you guys have your room set up because we can learn from each other. So guys, again, leave that thumbs up. Um, also, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you.